us? Yeah, wired and witty. Hee <laughs> hee. Close like Starsky and Hutch. Stick to the clutch. Welcome to Wired and Witty's podcast. Welcome, y'all. I'm back. Yay! So welcome to our <laughs> podcast on Wired. Witty. And everything else. Yes, Back from vacation. Yep. So, uh, as always, we're going to start off our episode with a shout out. I want to talk a little bit about my vacation. We'll talk about some of the shit's been going on recently. Sorry again, I've been absent. And then we'll cap it all off with a nice little shitty cherry on top with some wires. Why the fuck? Yeah. So, uh, Sasha, I'd like to shout out. Now, this is way out of left field, seeing how we're primarily a gaming channel. Yep. Is I want to shout out Cruise Tips TV. The fuck is that? Uh, it's a YouTube channel, and uh, <laughs> it's ran bri- primarily by this woman. I think her name's Sherry, if I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken. And she's made all these really uh, well thought out and well done videos of just like cruise tips. Because that was what I recently did. I took a cruise to Mexico. It was fantastic. I had a blast. And uh, she, uh, I actually watched some of her videos before going, and she provided the most helpful tips that really helped me out. The one thing I do regret in one of hers, like what to pack or how to pack, yeah. she, she uh, recommends getting like a pop-up hamper. And I really wish I would have did that because like, it, like almost towards the end of our, sh- our, our cruise, like the, the chair in one of the corners just like... <laughs> Just full of yeah. fucking clothes. Everyone has that chair. <laughs> <laughs> so next time I'll definitely do that. But other than that, I mean the the tips on what to do and and and, and it was just very helpful. Like so, if you are planning a cruise, um, definitely check that out. If you haven't done a cruise yet, I totally recommend checking one out. Like going a little three day, maybe four day, a little one, just to check it out, see if you like it. I I get motion sickness sometimes on airplanes, but I there was only one time during the cruise I got a little queasy, but uh, it was more of like a kind of a headache. And yeah. all I did was went up on deck, you know, and I walked around a little bit, and I was good to go. So I had a blast because I mean the food was free and all that, and well, I mean most of it is free, but yeah, you know, she even like was like order room service because you know there's a bunch of stuff on the menu that's that's, that's free. And, I mean, all, all you really do is tip the people that bring it to you, and they'll bring you food, and it was great. I don't know. Like, anyway, she was very helpful, and I recommend you guys go check out Cruise Tips TV. I know it sounds like a really big thing, but I think it only has, like, 13,000 subscribers, yeah. but the videos are really well done. Really, really yeah, well done. Yeah, you can tell by the thumbnails. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. she, she puts a lot of thought and effort, and she, she mentions us. She, like, travels with her husband, mm-hmm. and they've been on a lot of cruises, and it's always good to feed off of somebody with that experience. I mean, yeah, it's not difficult to cruise, but, like, she reminded me of shit that's like, oh, yeah, you know, I probably should bring that, or, oh, yeah, I should do that. Mm-hmm. So definitely good to check out some of those videos, and hers was just, like, the most well done of the shit that I came across. So anyways, that's, that's mm-hmm. our shout-out of the week. Cool. Cool. All right, so I'll just tell you guys a little bit about my vacation. So, like I already mentioned, I went to a cruise out in Mexico, and uh, man, uh, I went on Carnival, and I had a good time. I mean, yeah, it was a little crowded, mm. um, but uh, the the first day there, like, uh, well, the first morning, uh, I accidentally woke up really early, but I said, fuck it, you know, went and got me some breakfast, checked out the itinerary, and noticed they were doing bingo. It's like, fuck it, let's do some bingo. <laughs> and go to the little fucking, uh, like, theater area, and there wasn't many people there. And and I dropped 40 bucks on bingo and fucking won 150 bucks. Nice. Not to mention, like, a $5 little peel-off thing that I traded for scratch-offs and kept waiting $5 off of. But I'm telling you, like, also, like, I, I uh, when, when the buffets were, like, kind of middle of the road food, it was, like, not bad, but mm. not, nothing you would write home about, but yeah. it still it was all free. Yeah. And, but when you got to dinner, I mean, this shit was, like, like, four-star restaurant quality shit, and you can order as much of it as you fucking wanted, pretty much. And I, I ate escargos on one of them because, like, the menu changed every night. And were, that was one of the things they said on the cruise was try something new. Try something you haven't yeah. done. But fuck it. I want to try escargos. And honestly, it wasn't that bad. It was like garlic butter sauce they were in. And uh, the texture tasted just like – well, the texture felt just like shrimp. Mm. And the taste was kind of like an eggplant, kind of, sort mm. of. 
it wasn't it wasn't disgusting or bad. Like everyone else was like at my table was just like, yeah, that's all you, bro. But yeah. fuck it. I I I did it. I enjoyed it. And uh got to Mexico, rented a scooter just out of the fucking blue, just why not and drove around Mexico. Went and did a fucking tequila tour, had a fuckload of tequila. And funny fucking fact, because on my way out, like the guy noticed that I was starting to slur a little bit. I mean, I wasn't drunk, but I was fucking lit. I was, man. It was <laughs> a lot of tequila, really fast, all at once. And it was good tequila. It was smooth. It was like no ethanol in it. So that's what causes like tequila to burn. Mm-hmm. But this shit went down so fucking smooth. Eh, chill, kiddo. My dog wants me to start. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so after doing that, though, like the guy was just like, "Hey, you okay, amigo?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good." He was like, "Well, just so you're aware too, if you're like afraid or anything like that, don't, because there's no such thing as DUIs here in Mexico. Just get home safely." It's like, no shit, <laughs> no DUIs in Mexico. No, amigo, no, no DUIs. Holy shit, that's awesome. So, uh, I mean, and then I, I fucking bought some Cohiba Cuban cigars. And and a poncho because <laughs> I really <laughs> wanted a poncho. Yeah. So I was driving around, sco- uh, driving around in Mexico, w- wearing a poncho, chomping on a Cuban cigar, and it was just a great time. I had a, I had a lot of fun. It was it was over too quick, but man, I'm I'm, I'm glad you got uh, you as well. And our I know we had a friend come over as well, help look after the dogs in the mm-hmm. house, and I'm glad everything went well. There was only a couple moments where I was just like, I hope everything's okay, because I had no way of contacting you guys. I was unplugged as fuck. I didn't fetch the Wi-Fi package or anything like that, so I was just like, I hope everything's okay at the house, but I'm like, you know, everything's got to be, and it was a good peace of mind, So, but maybe next time you should come. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a lot of fun and uh, took some goofy pictures and all that shit. So <laughs> it, it was it was just so so much fun. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys haven't done a cruise yet, definitely try it. Uh, and if you do have a cruise story to tell, I'd I'd love to hear it. Um, I I had a blast and I can't wait to do another one. I want to go to the Bahamas next just to check it out. So we'll we'll see how that goes in the future there. Um, so that was like my vacation. So now I'm back. We're definitely going to be doing yeah. some more Wired and Witty. So yeah. Witty's been kind of picking up the slack. And uh, I feel like I've been talking too much this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but anyways, moving on to, to uh, some things in the news. Ooh. Did you happen to see the new Spider-Man trailer? I did. Oh, yeah. Iron Man. Yeah. And it looks fucking dope. It does. I can't wait. Dude, this is like this Spider-Man seems it should be good Hopefully, good. please please don't let it suck i don't think it will. i don't see it i don't see it happening I, I really don't see it happening especially with mr fucking tony stark in it uh, it's not true. gonna be bad man Go, fucking guardians of the galaxy and two months later fucking uh, spider-man yes. fucking great and then did you see the fucking justice league trailer no i didn't watch it. oh really <laughs> oh my god they were trying to be funny I'm guessing it didn't work out. Not really. Not yeah. not by me. And I'm sorry. I'm a big Batman fan. And I like DC. I really do. And I want to like it. I really do. I'm not trying to shit on it. <laughs> but something you can't like. Okay, so there's this one little part in the trailer that's like like flashes. It's like, so what's your superpower? You know, he's talking to Bruce Wayne. and yeah. a little Mr. Bat flick. He's just like, I'm rich. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? It was so dumb. And then there was like Aquaman's just like, oh, you were wearing a bat suit. Oh, that's cool. And, and he was just like, yeah, I'm gonna probably rethink this whole group thing or whatever the fuck he said. It was, it was just uh, the joke was so flat. And I know like that was one thing that I remember them talking about yeah, when they were writing wasn't, the script. Yeah, that, Batman versus Superman. It wasn't. There's no light. Right, it was too serious, and then yeah. they're like trying to do the whole Marvel thing. Yeah, they're trying to do the whole Marvel thing where there's like a balance of funny and and drama. And I think they're gonna fail. Oh, they're gonna it's yeah. gonna fall on that. Anything that Affleck touches, <laughs> <laughs> calling him out. Which I know he's like, come here to Florida. The the I will the fucking. <laughs> The the Batman, of course, with uh, with Ben Affleck so going through all sorts of turmoil right now, and I don't know if it'll ever happen. Mm-hmm. But um, oh, and there was one other movie trailer. I'm sure you haven't seen it, but do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? It, yes! Yeah, of course I didn't watch it. Oh my god, that looks great. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna suck. It's probably gonna suck. I've seen I've seen the uh, original one, and uh, be that as it may, I'm a shit. I'm fucking scared of clowns. Oh man, it's a good movie. It, it, but this new one, know. though, it yeah. you would 
you would have nightmares. I'm yeah. just saying, like, yeah. just watching a trailer alone where you would, you would shit bricks I'm and good. yeah, especially when he's like faces poking out of the water. Yeah, it's, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So the, the, there was a lot of good movie trailers out this week. Mm-hmm. Um, and I it's just a bunch of shit I'm excited for. And of course, like the Justice League, I really do want it to succeed. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, but it's, <laughs> it doesn't, it, it, it's not, it's not catching my attention. I mean, Wonder Woman's definitely. Oh, like, Wonder Woman's awesome, dude. Well, even in Justice, in the Justice League, she looks, you know. <laughs> when you start playing that music, I'm like, yeah, it's Queen! <laughs> <laughs> Get um, it? <laughs> um so uh what what happened in the news this week that caught your eye they were making a batgirl movie oh no shit yeah who uh, do they cast it no yeah. not yet not yet um okay. but uh they're um i don't know if this is because it says it's it's slated to be released um oh wait never mind they don't have a slate to be released oh okay uh, yeah never mind um but they're hoping sometime uh, next year but um yeah so i think it's going to be a movie or it's going to be a tv series i'm not sure which one because i didn't really read up on it but joss whedon is di- is directing it so and josh whedon josh whedon usually doesn't well no he, do, he did do tv shows for yeah buffy, maybe right? did buffy yeah yeah, yeah it was okay. a huge success so that's someone who can do drama and comedy um you know very well oh yeah no you know? definitely he's and, everything um, uh, he does a really good job he's very attention to detail and I know he's done some things for the marvel universe too if i'm not mistaken mm-hmm. right yeah so uh yeah i know i know things can get stressful with those type of positions but he does a great job mm-hmm. so that that has me hopeful for some dc stuff that's, that's yeah good. and I, I think it's gonna be um oh, here it is it's gonna be a standalone movie oh, okay. it's gonna be yeah um but they're also this comes with you know the sequel to suicide squad um, that is going to be doing Gotham City Sirens, which is going to have Poison Ivy, Catwoman, and Harley Quinn. Ooh. <laughs> I can't wait to see who they cast for all these roles. Oh, yes. I can't wait right. to see who they cast for Poison Ivy. <laughs> or Catwoman. I mean, Catwoman's cool, too. But Poison Ivy. <laughs> yeah. What's this I, I hear, too, about like the Nintendo <laughs> Switch stands causing, like, Crack screens. Oh God, screens. I don't even know. They're killing people. I don't know. <laughs> Every day it's something it, new. It, it's one of those things. It almost makes you feel so hesitant on like being a f- early adopter of new hardware. Yeah, I mean, cases. we did that with the PlayStation. We 4, did, though. but it went well. Yeah, it didn't go bad. Yeah, um, it went very well. And uh, I mean, overall, though, Nintendo has been a huge success for Nintendo. Mm-hmm. I see the sales are through the roof. They're hard to get, and. Um, and, and honestly, like every, every complaint seems to be, I mean, pretty minor, if not fixable. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem to be like too, too bad. Like, I mean, like with, with like PlayStation, we had more issues with like games because like sometimes when games would come out, like it wouldn't be ready and like you couldn't get on the server. And uh, most of the time too, like there were third party games. So we yeah, were having those issues, like PlayStation but... store would be down or something stupid like that. Yeah. Uh, the hardware always worked well, though. Right. So hopefully, you know, if the the stand thing gets worked out. I know, and like, I think from what I recall hearing about first, like Nintendo was kind of in denial. Then they were kind of like, uh, some might have this problem, but it's not a big thing. I don't know. Yeah. Just be careful with your Nintendo Switch stands. Don't just like fucking throw it in there. You know, be careful. Um, and I also saw. Uh, Shit! What the fuck was it? In the anyways, you you, you throw something out there because I saw something else that was pretty cool. Um, Laura Croft pictures finally came out for the new live action. Oh yeah, see that? Yeah, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> she's actually wearing pants. Oh, oh good yeah. for her. Yeah, it's that girl from um, Deus uh, Ex Machina, and um, what do you call it? That one spy movie that we watched. The guy from Superman. Fuck. Oh, uh, The Man from Uncle? Yeah, The Man from Uncle. It's that girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can see Alicia her doing that. She's got a sexy Vincander. little accent. Vincander. Alicia Vincander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I can see that. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. I know the first one wasn't too bad, but the second Tomb Raider movie, Angelina yeah, Jolie. Uh, yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, oh, the first it's, it's like right there with like Daredevil about, to me. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. like the movie, the the original movie Daredevil. 
Uh, or, well, the Ben Affleck Daredevil. Uh, but um, uh, apparently I haven't seen yet a new Rise of the Planet of the Apes trailer came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, lo- it looks really good. Oh, I mean, those movies have always been, like, I haven't ever been, like, super, like, I have to go see that. But then, like, I'll I'll go, and then I'm like, I actually thoroughly enjoy them. Oh, yeah, no, de- they're no very, doubt. You know, they're not big, huge blockbuster breakthrough movies, but they're good. And I, I think they are. I mean, they sell really, really I know, well. I think they sell very well, but you don't get, like, the same... Like, I don't know, I don't get the same excitement as I do, like, for, like, a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Right, right. No, yeah, same but, thing. like, I still enjoy. Right. But when it comes around and you go out and watch it, it it's definitely great. Yeah. I did see, too, there was, I, I didn't, I, I guess a, a trailer came out recently for it, uh, but I did happen to catch the teaser for Destiny 2. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got burned by the first one so hard. Yeah, and if you're a Destiny fan, that's cool. It's, cool, it's yeah. definitely like one of those games I could totally tell. Like, if you're all about just one game, like that's the, like all that stays in your freaking console the whole time. Yeah. And Destiny is one of those games. I totally get the appeal. I really do. I'm one of those guys, though. I kind of need some variety, so I'll switch back and forth between like five different games. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I have ADD. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, I hear too with the Destiny two that you're actually kind of starting over. You're not your characters, not necessarily carrying over other than appearance. Yeah, which I'm sure is probably not cool with the whole Destiny thing. I get it because it's a it's 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 going to try to rein in uh, new buyers or new people to Destiny as well as people who may have left Destiny early, like me. The reason why I don't like Destiny guys is because I got an incomplete game. Yeah. For the $60 I spent for the base thing of Destiny, you can't sit there and tell me with a straight face that, that was a it was a 100% complete game. I got half a game. The bo- the last boss or whatever you call the little blob bullshit statue things that came to life wasn't acceptable. The updates that came out later that that you didn't necessarily have to pay for were dismal. And I understand they did, the leveling system did kind of suck with the gear. I, I get it. They fixed all that. It was much better. But I got so burned, I didn't want to go back and check out that stuff. And I know that sounds kind of stupid, but at the same time, like I was so pissed that I had. This was one of the first experiences, true experiences I had where DLC got really in the way. Like, yeah. I. I, 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 I'm all for DLC. I, I get it. It's like DLC prevents them from having to charge more money for a game as well as we get it a little faster. But DLC, to me, should always be add-on stories or add-on this, you know, an extension, not the rest of the fucking game. We've said this time and time again. And that's why Destiny burned me so hard. I played the beta, was looking forward to it. Yeah, and I'm I, pretty excited. Yeah. And, and even when I first popped it in and, like, played through... Like the first half of the game, yeah. I was super excited. Started getting a little bored of it, but I, I'm powered through the rest of it. And then to come upon, like, this is it until more expansions come out that you have to give money towards. Yeah, I'm like, and not to mention, uh, there was like fucking shitloads of expansions for it. Yeah. Has tons. They're doing the WoW thing. <laughs> well, yeah, but even then, with like World of Warcraft. It was like World of Warcraft's like maybe once a year if you're lucky. It's more That's like true. once every year and a half to two. Yeah, they because and, and the, they expand on the world and there's tons of free stuff that they do for that world. Exactly. And uh, I mean, uh, I was thoroughly entertained when I was sucked into it and I couldn't Me get too. out. Me too. I love WoW. I love <laughs> WoW. I didn't mind exp- playing for an, an expansion, um, but with the the DLC to me is kind of an expansion. Yes, but when it was like. You had all, like, you know, the first season pass and the second season pass and the Taken King, which was, and when it first launched, it was a full $60 fucking game, but it was still a part of the first one. It was, it was so much at, at fucking at first. But anyways, I, well, I'll see what Destiny 2 does. does. I, I'm going to be a little hard, hard on it as well as I'm going to be a little thick skulled and, and probably already say no. Which I was hoping Bungie would do something really great, and I think they had every opportunity to do it. Eh. And I did see that. I see you looking at it right now. The fucking Wreck-It Ralph two breaks the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah gonna I, be, can't I can't I, wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. Did they release a trailer for that? <laughs> no, no. I was uh, just looking at the yeah. Because I, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, I want to I see a trailer. I know, I know, but uh... <clears throat> I love the first one. It was I so know. good. <laughs> Who it doesn't so like a little good. girl with crap in her hair? <laughs> 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 Dude, I lost it. 
Oh, yeah, anyway, that was really like, wow, we just like, we got totally distracted. Like, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why. The light always gets me. She's like, looking, she's like looking all sad and she's like, oh, well, who doesn't like a little girl crap in her? I know, I know my brother really likes Rick or Ralph too, as yeah. well, so uh, it's definitely good that they're doing a second one. I like I like seeing those type of <laughs> movies. I'm sure they'll probably be like another Secret Life of Pets or whatever. Oh, God, I hate those gimmicky ones. I was like, I was bored. Well, I was, I was wait, waiting on somebody, and, and I was sitting in front of a red box, and I was having to be clicking through, and there was... The exciting life of pets. You, know, you can tell it's such like a shitty knockoff animated oh, version what? of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was God. like, fuck you. Fuck mm. you. Um, <laughs> what else did you see in the news? Anything else uh, really super interesting? Uh, I know there was a lot, kind of a lot going on, but. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, video game wise, not, not shit particularly. Though. Yeah. A- April April does look like a little bit of a slow month. I heard something like, "Grant, I'm not much of a Persona guy. I know it's super popular, but I know with the Persona Five on the PS4, it's gonna be blocking all the shared stuff, which is crazy." But I understand that they're probably want to keep spoilers really close. Cause yeah. They don't want anything spoiled for people. So obvious. I mean, it, we're, we weren't gonna probably do the game anyway. No, I mean it, you got a really good review though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, all the Persona games mm-hmm. do. It's one of those things. I know it's. Uh, it, it, I, I, I'm, I'm interested to try it one day. One day I will sit yeah. down and actually try some of the Persona games and actually give them a go. Um, and I did look at our our PlayStation Plus games that we're getting for free. Yeah. Uh, for April, Drawn to Life, I, or oh shit, I think it, I think it's called Drawn to Life. It looks pretty interesting. I, I might be fucking with the title. On it, I'm sorry. The other one looks fucking weird. Some weird fucking shooter slash love story slash co op slash single player. It looks weird. I'm it sorry. Does. It does. Look, it, uh, Is it like my kind of weird? Where I would like it. No. Or, no. Like like <laughs> like not as bad as Ho Ho Gum, but oh no, 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 no kind no. of that. <laughs> I mean, it's a work of art and. It should be appreciated. I just didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm... No, it's okay. My dog is like up my ass right now. <laughs> pet me, pet me, play with what? me. What? Yeah. Did you have a rough day? I guess. You Jeez, must have. Jeez, man. You must have. <laughs> so, um, all right. So moving on to, I guess, the why the fuck, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is why the fuck's going to be a little weird. And it spawned by me listening to the radio on my way to work this morning. I was like, you know what? Why not? I'm going to talk about it. And I'm sorry if this does actually like if you, if the if if you've been impacted by this, I'm I'm not trying to be what's the word I'm looking for insensitive. Yeah, but I'm going <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to joke about it. And I'm so sorry. Mm. Is why the fuck are there so many people dying by trains? Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. So literally, I was driving into work this morning, and there was an ad playing from like. Uh, the, the the driver safety whatever the fuck blah 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 yeah this has been an ad brought to you by the driver safety apparently from like sometime in 2015 to the this day there's been like over 250 deaths jesus by train a tra- like like being on a train and dying or no like being, being hit, by, hit a by a train what the fuck so obviously if you're a pedestrian uh, you know like there there's tracks you may want to like steer a little clear of those and probably not play on them There's yeah that. and it's and it, to me it's not one of those things as well so like oh shit you know i i juked right the train juke left the train's on a track it's not gonna go one fucking yeah. way <laughs> and I get it too, man. There's like fucking people, and I see it all the time because there's a busy ass Altamont up there, and there's this one intersection that really sucks dick. That like you're getting through one light, and there's another light not too far up, and in between that, there's tracks, and fucking dumbasses don't know that you're supposed to really like stop. Yeah. Before yeah. the tracks, but even then, I will say this: like, let's say you did fuck up and miscalculate, you thought you had enough room, and you didn't. <laughs> There's a lot of little ding, 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 yeah, ding, 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 ding. and and then down. the whole little things come down, and then there's that whole like oh shit, and then usually you hear the little yeah, fucking yeah, from the train. At that point, I mean, I love my vehicles to death, but if I had to abandon ship, by all fuck means, that. do it. I don't know, like, why the fuck would you just sit there 
and let the like, oh no, the train's coming. I can totally get out of my car and run right now, but I'm just gonna, just gonna try to do sit here. I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking. Know. Anyways, well, how the fuck are you dying from so many trains? Like, I could totally get like a freak accident. Like, you were just driving along. You know, the fucking shit didn't come along, come down like it's supposed to. You didn't hear the train or see it, and wham. I'm sure the freak accident, though, is probably point zero zero one percent of that shit, yeah. if any. But I just don't get how so many fucking people are dying from trains. Uh, maybe they're drunk. I guess. Tracks. Yeah, again, that would be another exception. You know, I actually fell asleep on the track, or I guess it was playing on it, got stuck, or... Yeah. You know, thought it'd be funny, uh, but even then, like, goddamn, like, I guess it's Darwinism in a in a way, but <laughs> wow, uh, uh, but uh, like, fuck me, like, I don't understand. And again, I'm sorry if you like lost somebody to a, a, like some sort of weird train accident, but I just don't quite get like how like yeah, there's the unfortunate like trains derailing, like that's that's that, that's usually can't be avoided in a lot of cases. Like you can't predict that. Yeah. But I'm talking about like just dumbass motherfuckers going out there and getting hit by trains. <laughs> I don't know. Like I know it's a weird topic, but you just have to like think to yourself like <laughs> how the fuck? That just got me thinking like, wait, what? There's been over two hundred and fifty deaths since two thousand fifteen to trains? No, it's gonna show you. You're probably gonna be one of them. Watch. Probably. Watch. Talk freedom. shit. Get hit. <laughs> Wired by got fucked up by, by Thomas. Choo choo. Yeah. Like gonna get you. Gonna get, <laughs> gonna get you. Gonna fuck you. Choo choo. <laughs> yeah. Right. Resident Evil got fucking yeah. hit by the subway. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't watched Resident Evil Six, do it and. <laughs> Patrick this, gets hit by a train. <laughs> over and over. Over and over again. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> so there you go. I guess they... Why? I, I don't know. I forgot about that. <laughs> gonna get you, gonna get you, gonna fuck you. <laughs> it was the best moment because I was inebriated and I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then there was one moment you weren't even doing anything. You stood exactly in the middle and it hit you anyway. Oh yeah, I was, I was like standing way out to the side and all of a sudden it was just like slam. Like... I wasn't anywhere near the train. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's how people are dying. Like, the train just suck you into like the, the vortex scene. and then you just die. The train? Kathy. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I'm back. We're going to be doing some awesome videos here coming soon. Hopefully, you guys are, are enjoying what we currently have to offer. <laughs> And that's all I got for this week. So do come back and join us next time on Wired. Oh, Woody. Bye. Gotta get you, gotta get you, gotta fuck you. Gotta fuck you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs>